Welcome to Duke's RV. I'm Duke, your video host, and today I'm excited to show you the Sprinter 31TB. It is a triple bunk fifth wheel uh, from the Keystone Corporation. And from right here, you can see several of the features it has. There's one of the two solar panels right there. It's got 400 watts of solar, solar charge controller. It's got a couple of uh, air conditioning units. Also on that solar, you have an inverter, so you can plug in some 110 even when you're not hooked up to shore power. So real quick, what that solar will do for it, it'll keep your fridge going uh, with the 60 pounds of propane. It will keep your stove, your furnace, uh, water heater, your lights, uh, pretty much keep you going any t except for the AC and uh, possibly the microwave would be the two main components but uh, you can always use the stove so we've got an outdoor kitchen over here that is a griddle there's a couple of fridges there you can see in between the wheels there that is the road armor suspension it reduces wear and tear on your rig uh, it's uh, got three inches of play up and down total of six inches of travel in that suspension and it is an excellent suspension. We have the uh, Lippert uh, solid step, or this is the step above. I can't remember which one they call it. It's a solid step, makes contact with the ground, big grab handle, stereo speakers, all the standard stuff you'd expect. Just wanna make sure you see it if you're looking at this model. And then a uh, big awning here. It goes a big portion of the coach. Got a nice pass-through storage area there. There's a place for your satellite and TV. It's the key TV system where it's very, wired very efficiently. There's a plug there, plug in a TV. You might want to plug in a fan out here. It's kind of nice to have a fan. If you're an RV or put your fan about 10 feet away from the door, blowing on the door area, keep you cool while you're sitting at the campground, keep a breeze, and we'll also keep the bugs from coming in. Oh, also up on the roof, I didn't show you, it's got that wine guard Air 360 Plus digital TV and Wi-Fi. So just kind of covering some of the features here. Some of it's pretty obvious. Here's the Road Armor Kingpin. This has a big chunk of rubber in it. They call it a grommet. Uh, basically, it's a pivoting head. And what this does, again, reduces wear and tear on the rig and also your truck as far as the effects of chucking. Uh, the trailer might be wanting to do one thing while the truck is doing something. So this kind of softens the uh, uh, experience there. You don't hear so much noise. It's a little bit better as you're going down the road. You can do research on that if you're interested with the, your friend Google. All right, we have electronic leveling system. So it has a plastic on it because it's new. But the good thing about this is the location. It levels up your rig, but you can raise and lower the rig while you have a clear view of your kingpin. Some of the other RV, RV manufacturers don't see the importance of that. Keystone does an excellent job. All right, so 60 pounds of propane. That'll keep you going. Keep your furnace and water heater and stove going. So if you're plugged into the campground, you may want to use uh, some alternative methods to heat your rig but, uh, or even use the electric water heater because this one will go electric or gas. Uh, there's the docking station right there. There is the, uh, let's take a look at the docking station. You need to slow down, Duke. Okay. I just had a quick meeting with my uh, director and he says I need to slow down. So there's your hot and cold shower, fresh city water connections right there. There's your uh, black and gray tank levers. There is the uh, enclosed underbelly. So it is enclosed and it has astrofoil down there also for insulation. And it's uh, got PEX plumbing, so that's good down to negative 10 degrees. But the heater duct run, duct will run the length of the coach and. That keeps the, uh, if it's really cold, you can make sure your plumbing stays warm. Just turn it on your heater. It will heat up that section down there. All right, there's another uh, gray tank right there. So you got two gray tanks on this big, huge storage area back here. Just trying to take a little bit better look at this one in case you're interested. So there is a prep for a camera, a ladder, walkable roof. You see that roof is kind of beveled. It's kind of barreled. Helps water drain off and not pool up on the roof. It's not flat up there. So I think we're ready to go inside. Thanks for hanging out with me this far. So we'll go ahead and see what's going on on this uh, 31 TB. That's triple bunks. That's solar 400i solar flex. Uh, I'll just show you what that includes. It has those two 200 watt solar panels. It has a, uh, let's see, here it is. 
that blue box is a solar charge controller and then there is an inverter here somewhere and I'm gonna find it that they call this the Brock box it's uh, an innovation from Keystone as far as uh, integrating all your uh, that's where you disconnect your uh, power for to the rig from the battery let me see if I can find that inverter there it is it says inverter prep but it's got a pure sine wave inverter that's part of the uh, solar flex 400 so what the inverter does is when you're not plugged in at a campground or an RV park or somewhere you're just boondocking on the side of the road wherever you may happen to be you can use your batteries and solar to power a coffee pot a CPAP machine uh, charge up a phone whatever it is you got it, you'll have some power there from uh, some 110 power if you need that all right so let's do a little bit of a panoramic view here you know what this is right okay and you know what that is this is some deep pantry space right here see it's that's how deep it is as deep as the fridge all right so I'm gonna start over take two all right we enter the coach greeted by this Thomas Paine theater seats that are very uh, comfortable storage up there this is a slide out here with the table and the uh, refrigerator so I'm gonna go two levels of panoramic here we're gonna go up here so you can see all that storage pantry space you know standard thing stainless steel sink and uh, nice residential faucet there got the electric heater on that fireplace so uh, this is a very open living area right here lots of space lots of headroom that filter up there you got the blade AC system there's two ACs and they're ducted so it's much quieter and it has a residential style filter in it got it from this angle here All right, this is the 31 TB. TB stands for triple bunk. They, co they could call it the 6D, six drawers. It's got six drawers in here. The 3C, the three cubbies. But it's the triple bunk they're emphasizing. So you got windows for everybody. You got 110 up there. You got a TV connection. Uh, so you're going to be all powered up. And there's another window here. So nobody's going to feel boxed in in here. Be very comfortable in this bunk room. It slides there is a door that closes so uh, you can close the door here for privacy we're in the bunk room whoever's in here can sleep and people can still enjoy the living area without disrupting them too much these drawers are pretty good size this is the teddy bear mattress it's very soft uh, a good way to do it you can just get a sleeping bag this is soft on your face on your kids faces of course you might have a pillow and a sleeping bag that's it's really all you need you could just roll it up if it's warm it'll be if it's cold they'll be warm but you've got a electric heater in the fireplace and you have a powerful furnace so you're not gonna have any problem heating this rig up that's not usually an issue with RVs these uh, furnaces are pretty good so you know you don't hear me making a big deal about how great the furnace is on any specific RV because they always seem to work pretty well this one is well insulated though that redu reduces the drafty feel the heat comes up from these ducts right here the, this uh, heater system runs the length of the coach and that that also keeps the underbelly warm down there so you don't have any problems with freezing in your tanks if it's down in some low temperatures and uh, keeps your PEX plumbing from ever getting close to negative 10 degrees because that's where it'll burst right now it's 60 degrees in here that's the weather report and it has the in command light that means you can hook up your phone download an app just go to the app store and get the in command app you can download it and do it on the test mode but it'll control your uh, slide outs your uh, check all your levels you could uh, control your awning so you could be sitting out here at the campground in your camp chair want to put the awning in or I just pull out your phone open up the app and push the button you'll get really used to that and you probably won't do the other controls when you just grab your phone so here is the uh, you know what room this is you don't need me to tell you let's see what what it looks like in here though 
Got deep cabinet space here. A ton of storage for your towels. Maybe extra blankets. If you have any large toiletry items. But you have a medicine cabinet here. A couple of drawers down there. So let me sit on this because it's up against here. So I'm going to close this door. It's a little bit closer here i would rather be at an angle but they wanted to have a clear walkthrough so they had a meeting about this i'm sure they always go with the best positioning so you can walk through here comfortably get in and out of the bathroom so you have to i'm okay with this and you have a skylight up there so you can immerse yourself in natural light while you luxuriate and have a sauna experience sitting down at the campground all right so we're going to go in here and take a look at this bedroom it's got a uh, wardrobe on this slide right here so it's got a deep uh, uh, closet here two small drawers a large one each one of these it just goes into the same space right here so you got closet space you got storage space up there tables with a 110 connection that it's a, it's an inverted outlet so if you have a CPAP machine and you're not plugged in you can still run that with no problem and then there is some windows here but they're closed right now but that really opens it up so the other thing that kind of opens it up you have this window right here if you have this door open you're going to have an open feeling here natural light from the uh bathroom natural light coming in from in here it really kind of opens it up makes it more comfortable there is the duct here is the tv satellite uh, it's a tv location right there and all the hookups and then you have a filter here that is a residential filter you could buy at home depot it'll get all the particulates and everything much better than your typical rv and then the blade ac system which is very efficient They've got all kinds of stuff. The uh, Keystone representatives can go on about it for 15 minutes. Very talented individuals. They can make it interesting. But the bottom line is the way they built it, it's got the tough lock couplers that don't fail. Like if you're just running AC hose that they're using tape, they don't do that. They uh, connect it up really well so it stays efficient. You're not heating up your attic, so to speak. And that attic is vented up there also. It's got vents. So... I let the humidity out which is very important but uh, this it's like they call it a racetrack style system in the industry uh, it's quieter and then it has the uh, blade AC that disperses it kind of like a convection oven would uh, evenly distribute heat but I appreciate you viewing my video my name is Duke and I be happy to help you if you're shopping for an RV my goal is to make it a good experience for you and the way that starts is with a great purchase experience no high pressure, no dealer prep fees, no hidden fees. Try to make you feel comfortable and uh, enjoy the experience. You know all the information, make an informed decision, get the right coach so you don't have to find out that you should have got something different. And then you can even stay in our campground for a couple of days. We'll do a walkthrough and show you how everything works. I'll be personally your personal concierge while you're at the dealership. but. After the fact, if you call me, I'll have your number on my cell phone. I'll see it's a customer, and I will answer the phone. If I don't, I'll call you back. Sometimes I'm busy sleeping, doing other stuff, but I will always get back to you. If you call me and I don't get back to you, it means I goofed up. I answer all phone calls from customers. I try to treat you the same way. I don't want you to feel like I'm a different person after we make a deal too busy for you. That's not me. I want you to be happy and enjoy the RV lifestyle. Hey, thanks for viewing my video. Here's my contact information. Again, I'm Duke, your video host, and I thank you for viewing my video. Thank you.